Previously, we're in Vegas. Wait for it. Moving cross country with Gary. So we left Vegas at 5 a.m. to make a 12 hour drive to Colorado. This is when I decided to record all the state signs we passed because they were pretty much the only thing interesting on the road. Arizona. Okay, okay, geez. I just have a long way to go, bro. But this is, I just crossed one state. There's like two more states I've crossed. With long drives like these, it's important to take frequent breaks and do some stretching. Also, is that not the most Utah thing you've ever seen? It's a flat mountain. That's crazy. Oh my god. That was so awkward. I'm the only Asian in this place and I'm doing crazy shit. Honestly, even though it was a really long drive, the views were pretty spectacular, which I definitely took for granted. Secret tunnel! We even stopped by this canyon. It was great. Not the great one, but definitely great in its own way. And after 13 hours of driving, we finally reached Colorado. Okay, we finally arrived in Denver after 13 hours of driving and we are here at the Buckhorn Exchange, Denver's oldest restaurant. And there's a special dish here that I want to try. Let's go. First of all, the restaurant is pretty iconic. It was filled with cool taxidermy animals and it being Denver's oldest restaurant, the walls were covered in history with articles from back in the day as well as former presidents and celebrities that have eaten there. Their menus also come in this cute newspaper format. This is the main reason I came to this restaurant. They are Rocky Mountain Oysters, aka Bull Testicles. No, but for real though, no cap on god, the balls were amazing. I'm literally craving them as I edit right now. I also got this bean soup that apparently has been served to four presidents, but I don't really like beans, so I thought they were mid. Then for the entrees. I got some specials for you, chef specials, not on the menu. Ooh. The first one is a combination dish. It's four ounces of buffalo, four ounces of elk. Those are each tenderloin, so very soft cuts for both. The elk, it's a sweet or a savory wine sauce, so you get to pick for it. The buffalo has a garlic herb butter that comes on top, and then that special is going to get veggies and your choice of sides. Yeah, shreddy elk. Ooh, it smells good. Wow. It smells pretty strong, but it's so tender, super tender, it's more tender than like a normal steak. 
the red white sauce really strong and flavorful as well. This is the bison. Oh wow. Both steaks are so tender. This one has the gaminess. It's a little bit different from this steak too. Yeah, really good. This is the 17 ounce dry age ribeye. Pretty good. But I think I like the buffalo better. We also got dessert and overall it was a great meal until I saw the price. Good morning from Denver. We were extremely tired last night and we just crashed at a friend's place. Shout out Amber. This is her place. Look, this is her dog. But yeah, we were really tired from driving 13 hours last night. And we're just about to head out and continue driving for 8 hours to Omaha, Nebraska. So, let's do it. It's like we wanted to explore Denver a little bit. We're in downtown Denver and there's this sign that says breathe but it's on a stop sign so does that mean like I should stop breathing? Then we headed to the Denver Central Market. It's this place with a bunch of nice food vendors. The market was extremely loud and the audio sucks so I'm just gonna post comment here. We got some ceviche tostada, some amazing bucatini pasta, and a wonderful mushroom and sausage pizza to share. The tostada was very fresh and refreshing, as you can see here. And the pizza was classically delicious. Can't really go wrong with pizza, you know? Dude, everyone here is so fashionable and they have tattoos and some of them are wearing soccer jerseys. It's kind of like my speed, you know? But we're not moving here, so... And in the back, there was a really cool vintage market and I got myself a piece. I think it represents me very well. It says... But yeah, we are about to make the 8 hour drive to Omaha, Nebraska. So let's do that. Next time on Moving Cross Country with Gary. Nice. I got this minion drink. Apparently, we're at the world's largest truck stop. <laughs>